What's up everybody? How's everybody doing? Or as Jerry Sass would say, Hello my YouTube friends! <laughs> hey Jerry, how you doing? I'll put a link at the end of this video for Jerry Sats uh, YouTube channel. He's got a great channel going. He does some rail fanning. He's also starting an N-scale layout himself. And it's turning out really well. He's using Pico Track. And he also does a segment called Questions from the Truck. Where you can ask him questions in the comments. And he will do his best to answer them. And if he doesn't know the answer, he'll take the time and he'll look them up mostly. So, at the end, check out Jerry Sats' YouTube channel. Alright, what we're doing today is a little different. Uh, as most of you know that's watched my videos, the N-Scale layout that I'm building was on an old table that I used for many different things. So, that bench work before this end scale layout was for a lego train layout where i had the lego trains running with the lego houses and the little lego people and running around everywhere it was fun but before that i did on the same table an ho afx slot car track and me and the wife i don't know we ran that thing crazy it was just crazy <laughs> you crazy and that's what it was but I wanted to do the Legos. So, what do I do with my slot car track? So, what I came up with was back in, I don't know, 70s, early 80s, when I was reading through Model Railroad magazines, there was a three, four, five page article on unique places to put layouts. Some build them over steps, some build them over the washer and dryer, some had, you know, push pull doors that would reveal a layout, some did a Murphy bed type situation where it folded out of the wall onto legs but another one a gentleman had did an HO scale layout that folded off the wall and was supported by two chains and I remembered that from way back then I said that's what I'm going to do with my slot car track because me and my wife still like to run those cars I got a few you can see a couple behind me here there is uh, tractor trailers Mountain Dew Pepsi you got Scooby Doo the Ecto-1 Ghostbusters I got a Batmobile I got Dukes of Hazard. I got Daisy Duke's car. I got the Duke Boy's car. But mostly I run these two little, uh, I don't even know what they're called, Indy cars. They stick real well to the track and they're the most fun because they go really fast. But anyway, I'm fixing to show you directly what I did and how I did it. Well, not necessarily how I did it, but what I did. It's a lot of fun. Come along with me and I will show you what I did. Okay, here we go. When you come down to the, this room, this is, I call it the man cave, but this is just where I watch movies. I have a love affair with movies, so I do a lot of movie watching down here. So I made this look like just a picture of a strip of film and put some movie reels on it just to make it look like it has a purpose. But this is my racetrack. So there's nothing fancy behind the wall there. It's just, you know, a racetrack. So let's fold her down and check her out. There's a buckle over there, and there's a buckle over here. Just undo it. Down it comes. Grab your controller. Plug it in. You're ready to go. We can spend all kinds of time down here and have a whole lot of fun. Whoop, a little fast. But yeah. So as you can see, I didn't make it too fancy, just painted it green. Put it on the wall, mounted by chains, run the cars. Take a closer look. Alright, so if you wanted to make it real fancy, you could uh, put in some bushes, trees, all that good stuff. But basically, this is general give you an idea for a model railroad. N scale would work on this one just fine. I'd probably have to remove the uh, cars and engines, of course. You couldn't fold it up with them on there. But uh, let me grab a little house here. As you can see, this is an N scale. An old N-scale Bachman house. 
it almost clear. So all you have to do is build this board here just a little higher. Not much. Actually, this is a double thickness. You can see here. Because I wanted to put the face piece on so I can hang the picture. So if you actually started the, this piece down here as your face, then you would have clearance all day long just with that piece. So I just did a double wall so I could do the picture, but there you go. You can put lights, run all your stuff, set your nice train. As you can see, I tacked everything down. But it's a blast. And I really think that could solve some people's problem. I mean, look, you can do a backdrop on that wall and make it look real nice. All right, so there you go. When you're done with it, you know, if you've got a model railroad on here, remove all your bits and bobs. It's not going to stay when it folds up. Your cars, your engines, maybe, I don't know, whatever you had, people, whatever. Unplug all your stuff. It folds right back up. Lock your stuff into place. Like I said, I got another one over there. But I really think this will solve some people's space problem. You can make it look really nice. Uh, put anything you want up there. Big picture of a train. That would be sweet. Steam engine going over a viaduct. But I really think it will solve some people's problems. Tell me what you think. Well, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It's a brief little video. It'd be a great N-scale HO. All you got to do, like I said, is build the walls just a little higher. Everything would work. Glue everything down. Nail everything down. Whatever you got to do. But that's what I did with that track, as you saw. Because everything's nailed. I didn't do any scenery because we just run the cars and have a good time. And we stick it back on the wall. I... As I showed you, the uh, exterior is like a picture in my little man cave room down here where I watch my movies. So, yep, if you liked it, smash that like button. Push, push, push. Get it. Share it with somebody you think might be interested or is having a space problem. Maybe this will solve it for them. Give them a little running time on their trains. And they can enjoy the hobby as well as everybody else does. So, until next time, you guys have a good one. Pappy out.